So in case you're wondering what the NASA planes are doing flying all over the Western Cape. Um, Stenhazen has taken millions and millions of uh, rands worth of loan from the Bezos Foundation in America. And here comes the kicker. What did he give as collateral? The Cape. South Africa needs to wake up before it's too damn late, really. If you agree with me, repost this video. Let's just get the message out to everybody. I got literally hundreds uh, of uh, emails and WhatsApps asking me if it was in fact correct, uh, which it clearly is not. Um, so it's, 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 the, it's the malicious use of false information, the malicious use of artificial intelligence, spreading a fake dangerous message uh, that really does influence people. So this is a classic example of misinformation, i.e. manufactured fake news. The other side of the misinformation coin is disinformation, which fits the mould of propaganda. Maybe we should change the way we vote. Why is voting such a secret that no one knows where the counting is done? Why don't they sit the people down after voting, count the votes in front of everyone and give us the results indicating which people won and by which margin? This is certainly a very scary case of propaganda and disinformation by a former president of the republic who has been elected twice as president of this country under the same system that is about to elect the next national assembly and subsequently the president of South Africa um, run by the IEC, um, one of the most um, trusted and transparent institutions of the country that we have today, um, knowing the many institutions that are starting to fail in the country, the IEC remains one of those that are trusted. So to see a former president um, cast aspersions in that manner and plant a seed of doubt certainly shows that this is a political game which might end up in a very scary light. People are susceptible to misinformation and disinformation because as human beings we have a tendency to confirmation bias information that suits our narrative and discount information that doesn't. So for example a person who's economically disempowered would be particularly susceptible to a fake news article that gives them hope, false as that may be. Important news, Elon Musk's project has scared the government and big banks. He has come up with a new secret investment that has made hundreds of people very rich. We have developed powerful software. As this clip illustrates, AI technology has the ability to generate near-realistic content, mimic human communication styles, and automate the dissemination of misinformation. You can expect to make 30,000 rand as early as day one. It may be much more. You make a small deposit of 4,700 rand into the algorithm, and it automatically starts to increase. Everything is under your control. You just watch during the day as your profits multiply. The old maxim, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. The 2020 Cyber Crimes Act is a gallant effort to enforce accountability for spreading false content. However, removing deceiving content from social media platforms after widespread consumption has already taken place underscores a crucial limitation. For the consumer, awareness and fostering the habit of verification prior to accepting, believing, or reposting content is paramount.